Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, Hawaii! A special episode, one of my favorite limited releases from a big name distillery every year. None other than Woodford Reserve Batch Proof 2024! 121.2 proof points of Woodford deliciousness. So hang on to your gosh dang seats and sit down for this one, okay? Because it's going to be a bumpy ride. If you're wondering why you dressed up, Urban Bill, bring a little bit of class to the show tonight. Or I got home from work and didn't feel like changing. Pick whichever option feels right to you. So look, Every year, I thoroughly enjoy my cast strength Woodford, which they call batch proof because it's batched, you know, whatever. They, they like to be different, you know. Every year, I enjoy it. Every year, is it worth the cash? It's always very hard and makes me search deep down in my soul to determine if that's true. This year, I hate to say the proposition's gotten even harder. 2024 didn't bring those cost reductions that we'd hoped. Hell no. This sucker is now 160 doll hairs for this non-age dated, no info bottle from Woodford. So, yes, the bottle shape's cool. Yes, it's heavy. Yes, this is a real wood cap. But I mean, gosh dang, Woodford, you suck. You know, look, Chris Morris was the last one to sign last year's bottle, 2023, which was 124.7 proof. But, you know, Elizabeth McCall took over as a master distiller. Elizabeth, if you're listening, put a gosh dang age statement on here. Or, or give us the range. Like, say, hey, you know, it's 4 to 24 years old. We don't know. And the zero transparency makes the price hard to swallow. But hopefully the liquid makes up for that. As we saw last year, so in 2022, they, they brought out this beautiful bottle in 2021. Okay, this bottle shape, the club, the heavy club, if you will. 2021, 750 mil. 2022, 750 mil. 2023, 700 mil. So they screwed us. And in 2024, it's still 700 mil. So, so we're back to like, you know, the extra glass in the bottom to rob us of 50 million the price has gone up about 10 doll hairs from last year you want to say 10 bucks what are we sweating 10 doll hairs for you can barely buy a pack of gum for 10 doll hairs here in 2024 so that's a big deal okay they should have kept the price the same it was already high in 2023 and not not a lot's changed now quick shout out to dave vogel saying thank you sir for getting this for me I got this before they released it because there was some screw up, some accidental release, if you will, in the state of Illinois. Okay, so there's usually a lot of accidental release of bullets at people in Illinois, but this time they accidentally released Woodford Batch Proof a little bit early. Okay, a little bit early. So if you're in the state of Illinois, you probably already have this and you're like, I'm halfway through it, you, you scumbag, and you're just saying it's new. But... Today, right here in early February, and, and this will be released a week after I film it, so I'm only a week ahead here. This was just announced by Woodford. So like I got it like a day after it was announced by Woodford. That's how quick I had it. Um, so I'm bringing you the early review to let you know, is it worth the 160 doll hairs this year? I did fresh crack this today uh, several hours earlier than when I'm filming this. So it's had a few hours air time. And the old poured up sample here has been sitting out for a good 15 minutes. Okay, so it's not a fresh crack, but she ain't well aired. Okay, just keep that in mind. Now, it's long rumored that Woodford Batch Proof is a mix of Woodford barrels and Old Forester barrels. So there's a little bit of heat cycling at play, which is probably why they tend to shy away from that age statement, because they've been cheating old father time just a little bit. Let's give this 121.2 2024 Woodford Batch Proof a nosing. Gosh dang it, that don't smell delicious and smell like Old Forester. This is the most Old Forester smelling non-Old Forester I've had. 
There's a little bit of bananas here. A little bit of cherry. A lot of caramel. Like, just a nice deep rich caramel. Not a ton of oak, but it's there in the background. Gosh, it smells delicious. I'm just not getting like a Woodford smell on it though. You know what I mean? Just for shits and giggles. Here's a little Woodford double oak. Yeah, I mean, well, this is double oak, but I'm just not getting that like, you know, Woodford kind of has, Woodford's, I like Woodford, but Woodford always has a little bit of like a cardboard scent to it because of the youth. Not here. This is, like I said, the banana. A little, little bit like cherry cola. Almost smells like a stag junior. Let's take a sip. Oh man, is that delicious. Pretty viscous. It finishes there. It drinks it proof. It drinks it's proof. Um, it's vanilla, banana, a little bit of cherry, a lot of caramel, a little bit of oak. The, it, it's all kind of tightly combined. Maybe, maybe with air it'll open up to be a little more, you know, spread out. But it's all there and it's delicious. Look, thank you again, Dave, for, for helping me get this. I would buy it. But I'm a huge Woodford Batch Proof fan. And I still think the value is just, it's tough. It's tough, right? It's very good. It's your only opportunity to taste Woodford at a high proof. But the value's poor. You know, it should be around 80 to 100 doll hairs a bottle. But now they're at 160. It's just, it's just getting expensive. Now, let's compare to last year's just for you. And I'll link it above my review of last year's where I compare that to the previous year, which was 118.9. Those were almost neck and neck. Really like both of those a lot. The 118.9 is considered one of the best they've done in a long time. I like this one nearly just as much. We'll put it here in the mini. So the 124.7 from 2023 was a favorite of mine because of the immense complexity and roller coaster of flavors. Let's give it a nosy. It's different. Oh, it's much more like stone fruit on the nose. Much more stone fruit. It doesn't have like the cherry caramel. Well, it's got caramel, but it doesn't have the cherry. It doesn't have like the, the banana of, of the 2024. This is like peach pear, apricot type of fruit notes. The oaks there is a little bit of chocolate in this one, which I'm not getting in the 2024. Let's take a sip. Is that good? Man, his last year is good. I forgot how good that was. Well, clearly I've been enjoying it. That tastes like Woodford at high proof. This year's doesn't. I think they used more Old Forester barrels in this year's than they did last year. Last year has the caramel. It's got the fruit. It's got the oak on the back end. There's a there's a just a tinge of youth in the middle of last year's though. Let's compare this year's here. It's weird, it's weird. There's a little bit more oak in last year's on the finish. There's more sweetness on the 2024 though. It doesn't just doesn't come off as youthy, but it doesn't quite come off as complex with the roller coaster flavors. After careful debate, I gotta say last year's is a touch better because of the complexity. Last year's has chocolate, oak, caramels, stone fruits. This year's is banana, cherry, and a little bit of oak. It's missing like the fudge. It is sweeter though. So it's almost a draw, but for me personally, last year's edges out this year's. Now, downside was this was cracked today. Probably will open up and be a little bit better, which means it'd be equal probably to last year. This one's, you know, more than half empty. So. Let's just say the quality hasn't fallen off. Okay, so if you enjoyed last year's, you're gonna enjoy this year's, okay? And clearly you're not, probably, probably can't find last year's anymore, so go ahead and pick up this one. Bourbon Bill's rating. Look, I love these, I just love the profile, but they are overpriced. Value, it's low. Any way you slice it, it's low. So I'm gonna give it a B plus. 
this year. I think the value really hurts it, especially that it's now 160 doll hairs. Okay, it's just, it's not there. It's not there. But it is very good and one of the most unique things. Now, I did say this kind of tasted a little bit more old forester ish than last year. So, what's a good comparison? How about a gosh dang old Forrester single barrel? Big shout out to Dave Perrin. Um, Chambers Wine and Liquor out in Colorado, I believe. Let's see how she stacks up. We'll put it in the blue glass here with the blue label. So here's the problem. These are anywhere from like, let's say 85 to 100 doll hairs a bottle for these bad boys. Age statement, we don't know, but, but it's young. You know, let's say six-ish. Heat, heat aged. Heat cycle aged. This one is 127.2. So it's a little hotter than these, but it's not out of the realm. Same parent company, all brown foreman. Okay. Let's see how Chambers picked it. In the blue. Gosh, this smells so similar to this to this new Woodford from 2024. Both of them have that like hint of banana, the caramel, the sweetness. Now, I will say this. Old Forester smells it just a touch younger. Yeah, it's just a touch youthier. Let's give it a sip. Gosh, dang it, that ain't delicious. Banana, caramel, vanilla, oak. Very thick on the mouthfeel, delicious. Now, how does it compare to the 2024 Woodford Batch Proof? Okay. I'm actually a little bit shocked, and I'll tell you why. The Woodford Batch Proof from this year beats this bottle. And this bottle was super razor close to Old Forester 150th Batch 3 for me. It was one of my favorite store picks of all time, Old Forester. I know, I know these are pretty variable. This is one of the better ones I've ever had, and this just beat it. So that's good, right? This is 160. This is max 100. So it is more expensive, and it is better. It was sweeter. It held more caramel. A little bit more oak. It had like the banana. It, it was similar, but this was a little bit deeper, darker, and richer. You're like, Bourbon Bill, I don't have a hundred doll hairs. I'm a cheap SOB. What's for me? Little Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Available on shelves everywhere for around 68 doll hairs. Is it better? This happens to be a store pick. Full, full discrepancy, but is it better? God, way more banana. I mean, we're like banana level 110 on this bad boy. Char, barrel char, oak burn caramel. Oh, I picked this. Oh, <laughs> I don't even need to go buy a shelf for this. This is my favorite pick of all time. It's far older than most shelfers out there. It's actually a lot darker too. This is killer. Um. This is better, but this is a pick. So, I would say shelfer-wise, you know, of a straight shelfer, this is probably a little bit better. But, 68 doll hairs, 160. Mm, it's not that much better than a regular shelfer, and I preferred this actual store pick over that. So, that's tough. That's tough from the value standpoint. I gave a couple cherry notes. What else has, like, a cherry cola note? None other than stag. Junior from Buffalo Tree. This is batch 17, the last junior. 128.7, closer in proof, you know. It's higher, but it's close enough. Way sweeter. I mean, this is straight cherry Robitussin and and like rally cola. Not 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 real. Not real Coca-Cola. That is like sickeningly sweet compared to these. All you Buffalo Trace fanboys are like, 
Nothing but a bunch of candy whores, you know? This is very good. This is very good. But I don't think that's as good as this Woodford Battery from 2024. Oh. Woodford Beach Stag Junior Batch 17. Now, I know that's not the newest batch, so forgive me. Whatever. That's, that's what I got. All right? Work with me here, folks. Woodford's better than that. So you got to ask yourself, okay, this is like 60 doll hairs MSRP. This is 160 but what are you paying for this? If you're paying 160 or more, this is better. So it kind of starts to skew the value a little bit, right? It skews it back in favor of, well, maybe they ain't so bad, right? Before I leave you tonight, one final comparison for you rock bottom dollar folks. How about a Knob Creek store pick? This is from Drug City in Maryland, and this is You Can't Handle Proof. And now this is going to be a little bit skewed because this sucker is an 11-year-old Knob Creek from 2023. So pretty dang old for Knob Creek nowadays. I know there used to be 14, 15. Get over yourself. This is about as old as it gets these days, 11 years. 120 proof, compute, compute, 60%. Alcohol by volume. So a little bit lower, but real close to 2024 here. Gosh, way more peanut brittle nut and just a massive wall of oak on this bad boy. At 11 years old, the only age data product up here tonight. Oh, good lord. That, that's so damn good. That is. So oaky. So oaky. Now look. It's nutty, caramely, brown sugar, and a massive wall of oak. Do I love it? Absolutely. Is it A++ rating? Absolutely. Was this 60 doll hairs? Absolutely. Okay. I could always buy three of these bad boys for the price of this. I almost always pick age over anything. I think this is a little bit better because there's just so much oak here, but it's not as complex, okay? It's not. Not worse, though. This is thicker. It delivers more complex flavors, but it just doesn't carry the level of age, you know? It just doesn't. Um, goes back to my point. Is it a good value? No. Is there other alternatives? I would say your best alternative to this the 2024 is far more Old Forester than ever before. So your best alternative is one of these barrel strength Old Foresters. But these vary so much. You might get a bad one. You might get a fantastic one. You might get a mediocre one. This is considered a fantastic one for me. And it didn't quite live up to this. So is it worth the extra 60 doll hairs? That's up to you. I'm saying it's a buy because I'll buy these every year because it's always a good release. It just never disappoints. It's never like, well, that, that was terrible or, well, that was mediocre. You don't ever get that. This is always good. Okay, so this just beat my favorite Old Forester single barrel of all time. Yes, it costs 60 doll hairs more. Was it that much better? No. No, it wasn't. Didn't beat my favorite store pick of all time, that JD, but I pay almost 200 for that. That's how good that bottle is. Would it be a regular shelfer of JD Barrel Proof? It could. It could. It's going to be more complex. Did it beat the Stag Junior tonight? Yeah, it did. It was thicker and more complex. Did it beat this tonight? Well, do you prefer Old Bourbon or do you not? You know, are you a Penelope fan? You're 100% going to prefer this. Woodford batch over this then. If you're like a Knob Creek 12 fan, mm, the older age in this bad boy is probably going to win it for you. So that's what I leave you with tonight. A puzzle to figure out on your own. But this is a buy if that's what you're going for. Is it pricey? Sure. But it's a once a year release. It ain't three batches a year. Maybe pay up and get it and you're going to enjoy drinking it. You know, that, that's where we're going to end it. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. And consider joining my Patreon because this doesn't pay for itself. 
Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening.